Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my internet videos. This time we're talking about the Wood Elves again. <clears throat> Specifically, the Sisters of the Thorn. These are brand new units just being released uh, last week in White Dwarf. This video is going to be a little longer because these are very tricky units. I like this unit a lot. It really shows a development in game design on Games Workshop, in my opinion, by matching up abilities of units. Quickly, the Sisters of the Thorn. The basic unit is called the Sister of the Thorn. The upgraded or champion unit is called the Handmaiden of the Thorn, and they ride on Steeds of Isha. They're a special unit that comes in a size of 5 plus. They're cavalry. They're uh, the Steeds. Stat line is 9, movement 9, weapon skill 3, no ballistic skill, strength 4, toughness 3, wounds 1, initiative 4, attacks 1, and a leadership of 5. Uh, Sister of the Thorn is movement 5, weapon skill 4, ballistic skill 5, strength 3, toughness 3, wounds 1, initiative 5, leadership 9, and a handmaiden uh, adds plus one to their ballistic skill, making making her a uh, weapon skill five, ballistic skill six, just in line with what we expect from Wood Elves. But they get really good later when I get into the special rules. <clears throat> okay, special rules: always strike first for riders only. They're fast cavalry, forest walker, and poisoned attacks for riders only but you're gonna see in a moment that that's not really gonna matter uh, Deepwood Coven well before we go into that they also have another special rule called Daughters of Eternity which means a model with that special rule gets a 4 plus ward save very nice now the big special rule they have is called Deepwood Coven Deepwood Coven I'm just gonna read it to you a unit of Sisters of the Thorn is considered to be a level 2 wizard that knows the spells Shield of Thorns from Lore of Life and Curse of Anrahir from Lore of Beasts. This does not prevent other friendly wizards from knowing the same spells. The unit receives an additional plus 1 to cast for each rank of 5 or more models it has after the first to a maximum of plus three each time that unit casts a spell or is targeted by a special rule that affects a wizard you must nominate one sister or one handmaiden of the thorn as the caster or target for the purpose of lines of sight range and etc in the event of a Sisters of the Thorn unit rolling a miscast, do not roll on the miscast table. Instead, the unit suffers D3 wounds with no saves of any kind allowed. Nice. Uh, in terms of equipment, they come with a hand weapon and a Black Briar Javelin. Now, if you remember before, I said they get poisoned attacks for riders so that hand weapon if they don't have the if they don't use the javelin is poisoned now the black briar javelin in and of itself deal deal with the uh the fluff here crafted from the boughs of bitter and malevolent trees these javelins are lethal to all bloodied life blooded life it has a range 12 strength 3 Armor piercing, poisoned attack. So I guess we get double poison. That means this doesn't need to be a rider. If it happens to be on the ground, it's also got that special rule there. There's probably going to be some confusion of that when you see the poison attack, riders only, and then black briar javelin, poisoned attack. It pretty much means they're going to be poison attacks all the time. Yeah, let's see. They they're upgraded to the handmaiden. Like I said, that's their champion. Uh, they get a musician, they get a standard bearer, and they can take a magic standard up to 50 points. Not 25, 50 points. Now, reading what Adam has to say about the unit, the Sisters of Thorn are a subtle unit. 
Use them as a support for your warriors. In your magic phase, attempt to use Shield of Thorns to cause damage to an enemy unit that is or will soon be in base-to-base -base contact with one of your units. And Curse of Anrahir to reduce their effectiveness. The curse also makes dangerous terrain tests much more difficult, so it's worth casting on enemy units that are about ready to charge uh, any of the wood elves who are actually in woods. Um, <clears throat> or similar terrain that will cause, pretty much any terrain that will cause a dangerous terrain check is what you're looking for here. In this capacity, use them to take some of the load off of your wizards. Most importantly, use Sisters of the Thorn to nibble at the enemy from safety. Don't expose them to serious risks. Throwing javelins are handy, and they're poisoned, so they can pick on really tough foes with a good chance of causing some damage. I'm going to like to add to that. I think that the Sisters of Thorn are an excellent what I call starter unit. A starter unit is a unit that you like to play in games that have low points, smaller armies, because they are really all-encompassing. This unit mixes so many other advantages in it. Uh, they take care of, if you buy this unit, they take care of being a cavalry, they take care of being a skirmish unit, they take care of being a wizard and your magic, all wrapped up in one unit. On top of that, they're really tough. I mean, you put these you put these girls in, in any type of terrain cover uh, that requires, as I said, a hazardous check. With a Ford plus ward save, uh, the, the Curse of Anna here obviously means it's going to be really difficult to charge into them. They're basically going to be able to sit there and poke at people up to 12 inches away with, with their javelin. So you're left with the, and of course, being fast cavalry, they can pretty much get where they want any turn they want. They're good at support. They're good at attack. With the poisoned and armor piercing, uh, look out dwarves, new codex, or any tough army. They can, they can attack a monstrous creature pretty well with that. They can go after heavily armored. It's, it's very nice. And, and with the fact that they remove then a wizard requirement, kind of, because the whole unit is a wizard, that's one more point for them. But it's also not, not going to be wiped out by any wizard spell that might kill a champion very easily or an independent character because they only take a D3 uh, hits. A wound. They take a D3 wounds. It's a very nice unit. It's a very good unit that can be used for for the theme of the entire army for Wood Elves. Uh, I like it, and I'm going to get back to you with more updates on Warhammer, and I will see you next time. Bye!